Fortissimus is a presentation of the municipality of Notre Dame de Rosanne. Louis Sear is considered the strongest man in history. Over a century later, 13 amazing athletes are ready to take on the challenge of 10 historical events. Welcome to Fortissimus 2008. I'm Steve Besner with professional strength coach, Super Sad Dubé. Steve, it is truly an honor to be here. We've got the 13 strongest men of the last two to three years in the world competing today at Fortissima 2008. And we're ready for a tremendous competition. Sam, who's the referee for this contest? It's none other than Mark Lozon, the only man in North America certified at the world-class level. Let's hear from the athletes. This year, it's the biggest competition in the last 20 years. Fortismus is one of the biggest shows you ever can do in Strongman. Here you meet the best from every organization all over the world. Fortismus is a, the inaugural, this is the inaugural year of, of the competition, so it's very important. I think this, this is going to be something I, I would hope to see. It's going to you know, go down in history, and I hope to be here over and over and over again. So It's new, and I want to, to, to win this also. I have all competitions to win, but uh, not Fortismus yet. Fortissimus is for me a very strange competition because it's a new kind tip of the competition, not usually using these uh, events. And this is, uh, I think, very good for sport and uh, very good for the athletes also. You're watching Fortissimus. And we're ready for event number one, the Sigmarsson Wheels Deadlift. 800 pounds of partial deadlift, the bar 18 inches from the ground. This is a test of total body power. John Paul Sigmundson was one of three men to ever win the World's Strongest Man a total of four times. He's considered one of the greatest strong men in modern strength history. And we're ready to go. Here's Stefan Solvi Peterson. Now, Peterson is built in the mold of the great Jan Paul Sigmundsson from Iceland. He is Iceland's strongest man. You'll notice here, Steve, that they're using wrist straps. This is so that grip is not a factor in the event. Wow. Great he's, start. He's given it everything he has, Sam. Now, you'll notice here also they try to keep the bar as close as possible to the legs. They don't want it pulling their center of gravity forward. Uh, there's a lot of technique in this event. You wouldn't think so right away, but uh, obviously there's a tremendous amount of technique involved. They're trying to use as much leg, hip, and back synergistically as possible. Head referee Mark Lozon has to give the down signal to complete each rep. Oh, look at that. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> We've got a capacity crowd here of over 2,200 people under a tent of all things. Wow. Well, the sound is loud, and he's being motivated by this crowd, Sam. Oh, they've adopted, they've unofficially adopted uh, Stefan Solvi here. He's the youngest competitor. And he looks like he's playing to Look the at crowd. that. He locked that up beautifully. He's doing it for them, and he's sweating heavily. Look at that. There it is. Seven reps. 800 pounds for seven reps. <laughs> he's excited. Did you feel the spirit of Jan Paul helping you? Yes, he helped me with, with the last rap, I think. It was very hard. I hope I do good today. I want to make Iceland proud. There you go, and here's our next competitor, Zidrunas Savikas. From Lithuania, now listen up. Zidrunas is the favorite to win this show. He's a six-time Arnold Classic Strongman winner. The Arnold Classic is one of the heaviest contests in the world. Zadrunas is almost 400 pounds. Are you ready? Wow. He has wow. no major weaknesses. Look how conservative his technique is here. Keeps really, really tight, uses a good combination of back and leg, keeping the bar very close to his body, and locking out only as much as he needs to to complete the rep. And it looks like he's not expending any extra energy. He's using just what he has, just like you're saying. Now, we went over this before, Steve. Why is he not wearing shoes? He's not wearing shoes because uh, he, he wants complete comfort. 
No, it's so that he doesn't have to pull the bar as far. Okay, well, there you go. That thick, was my second answer. You got a thick heel, you have to pull the bar farther. So a lot of the competitors will be lifting in slippers or in socks. Look at that. That's smart. Good thinking. Very tight lifting here. He is a technician with brutal world-class strength. Wow, he's on a steady pace here, Sam. He's already taken the lead. It's hard to believe this is 800 pounds, the way he's lifting it. Oh, it's unbelievable. Look at these guys' strength is just tremendous. There's no at. wasted energy here. Readjusts his grip a little bit on the right side. Stays tight. Come on. Pushes his hips forward. There it is. And he's still got more left in him. Look at that. Oh, tremendous effort. The crowd's motivating, and they want him to do more. Now, going early in the heat can be a disadvantage. 14 reps. Wow, that's the number of reps to beat here. That's a great performance by Savickas. Now, take a look at the technique here. Very, very tight, very conservative. Keeps the bar really close. No wasted energy, as I mentioned. Locking out just what he needs to lock out. Did you use strategy there? You were only the second one to go. So, were you using some strategy? I don't know, because... <laughs> A lot of guys go after me. We'll see what it is. Mesdames et messieurs, Drunes Savikas. Well, that's a tough one, Steve. You don't know how many to go for. Uh, yeah, because exactly, he was one of the first ones. Well, we'll see Irvin Katona give it his best shot here. Serbia's strongest man. He is a great bear of a man. Thick as a brick, 340 pounds, about 6'1. Known for his deadlifting power and his bench pressing power. He has a better idea of what he has to be. 14 is the standard set so far. He's starting off well, Sam. He's needing to reset there after every rep. That's it, taking a deep breath, staying very tight, squeezing, pushing the feet through the platform, thrusting the hips forward and standing erect all at the same time. Again, the crowd is behind him, motivating him. I tell you, these guys, they're all world class. This is the premier strongman contest, basically of all time. It's a real treat to watch these guys. He's doing well, he's not slowing down. Irving Katona of Hungarian descent, living in Serbia. He has an interesting um, pre-event ritual. You'll see him walking around with a little bottle in his hand. I asked him why he wasn't drinking from it. Turned out to be pure ammonia. <laughs> oh boy, well, I guess that's smell and not drinking stuff. Come on, Irvin, you can do it. He didn't get the rep there, he didn't get the down signal on that one. He's got to stand fully erect, he's got to lock his legs out. And he gets it. There it is. Let's hear what the official count Ten reps. Good number of repetitions. And here's our next competitor, Mark Felix, 42 years old. United Kingdom strongest man from Grenada. This guy is a favorite to win this event. His hands are absolutely gigantic. He's been known to pull 800 pounds for five reps in the deadlift, that is with a bar about nine inches from the ground. Look at the short work he's making of this partial deadlift. Incredible stuff, and what a great start for Mark. He's a little bit losing his balance. But he's lifting so easily here, he can actually recover from losing his balance. He's showing great determination. I tell you, his hands are so strong, he could probably do this equally well without the straps. He's got a tremendous pace going, Sam. It's unbelievable that he's 42 years old. He doesn't look a day over 27. He's in great shape, this guy. He's still going strong. He set a world record on the Rolling Thunder lift very recently with 301 pounds. It's a thick handled rotating bar, one-handed deadlift. Now this guy knows what he's doing. Wow, he's still moving. A tremendous shot. Just needs to lock out the knees. See if he can do another one. Come now, on, Mark. Once your hands come off the bar, the event is over for you. Okay, so he's adjusting, but he's not removing his hands from the bar. There it is, let's see, 13 reps. Not enough to beat Zadrunas, but a great effort. Tell us what happened up there. Yeah, I keep I'm losing my balance a bit, you know, because I didn't think I pushed my hip enough. I mean, the weight was reasonable for me. It's not heavy, but I was just with the form a bit. Were you satisfied with your performance at this stage? No, I wanted to win the game to see that. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll have lots more chances. Mesdames et Messieurs, Marc Félix. Uh... 
and we'll have more Fortissimus after this break. My name is Misha Kakleyev. I'm from Russia and I'm 28 years old. Uh, too many events uh, good for weightlifter, for Olympic weightlifter. Uh, very many uh, same exercises. And here he is, Mikhail Kokleyev. Now, Misha is a six-time Russian national Olympic lifting champion in the super heavyweight class. He's a master of the snatch and the clean and jerk. Lots and lots of pulling. Look how easily he pulls this 800-pound partial deadlift. He seems to have a good technique going. He does. Olympic lifters are the most powerful men and women in the world as a group. And that strength, determination, he's got it all. Never underestimate an Olympic lifter, let me tell you. This guy has an official 250 kilogram clean and jerk. That's 550 pounds overhead from the ground. Wow, these guys, each one is more impressive than the next. This is tremendous action here. Very conservative here, taking his time, pacing himself well. Uh, he's got 14 reps to beat. That's a lot of reps. But that was Savickas' uh, number of reps. He's asking how much time he has left, how many reps. He's planning it out. He too is wearing socks to lift. Seems like they all have that strategy down, Pat. He's a very sharp man. I had a great conversation with him despite uh, not speaking English very well. And his nickname is Misha, as you mentioned, Sam. That's right. He prefers to be called Misha. Well, he's a real character, let me tell you. There it is. Let's see. Uh, 13 reps. Good enough to tie for second there with Mark Felix, up to now. And how did the other athletes do? Travis Ortmeier did eight reps. He's one of the strongest men in the United States. Where's his cowboy hat? And Louis-Philippe Jean. <laughs> he did six reps. The next great light on the Quebec strongman scene. Having a little trouble with the event. Christian Savoie, look Sav at that. Savoie did five reps. Quebec Cup winner this year. Sebastian Venta from Poland. This guy's been on the podium at the World's Strongest Man multiple times. 6'7", 350 pounds. And Sebastian managed two reps. He tweaked his back a little bit there. He's got to pull the bar a very far distance, being 6'7". I had a tough time. Andrus Murumets from Estonia. This guy's got very, very strong pulling power. Andres did pretty well with nine reps. Dominic Filiu, last year's Canada's strongest man. He's coming in about 80 pounds lighter this year to increase his speed. Ooh, no wow. lift. No reps for Dominic. Here's America's strongest man, Derek Poundstone. This guy's built like a fire plug. About 6'1", 315 pounds. Wow, oh, beautiful technique here. Look at Derek go. This guy's a machine. He actually defeated Marius Pudzanowski at the Mohegan Sun Grand Prix just a few months ago. That's a tremendous accomplishment for Derek. Marius not being here due to a knee injury. He's got 14 reps to beat. Very conservative here. Derek actually sustained an L4, L5 disc herniation a few years ago. The doctors told him he would never lift again. And look, here he is, and doing a great job. He is. He's world class once again. That's ultra impressive. Look at this. He's also an accomplished power lifter. He's a policeman from Connecticut, if you can believe that. Wow. I don't want to mess with him, that's for sure. There's his girlfriend cheering him on. Takes a very special woman to be the partner of one of these men, let me tell you. Oh, yeah, you got to have uh, it's a tremendous. Look at this. Now, they are allowed to hitch like that in strongman competition. In normal powerlifting competition, you are not. He's requesting how much time remains. He's trying to plan for the rest of it, trying to beat 14. I'll tell you, he, he is such a nice guy. I've never seen him upset over anything. Oh, that's it. Let's check the number 13 reps. Misses by one. Tying with Mark Felix as well. And Mikhail. Let's hear what he has to say. Are you pleased with your performance overall in the first event? I feel pretty good about it. I wish I could have got that last one. That 14th for the tie, I would have felt a little better about it. 
Well, I can't complain with 13, you know, but a three-way tie right now it looks like with a great deadlifter left. So we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, Derek Poundstone. And Zidruna Savikas wins the first event. There's a three-way tie for second with Felix Kogliev and Poundstone. They're followed by Katona, Merriametz, Ortmeier, and Hogan. I'm Mark Felix from Grenada, and you're watching for Tismus. And we'll be back with event number two, the Giant Barrels Power Yoke. Errol Hogan, 22 years old, Norway, the land of the Vikings. A lot of the events are new for me. I have trained, I have trained them a lot, but there's uh, some heavy stuff I never tried. So I'm very exciting and I hope to do well. And let's see how excited he is with this event as we go to event number two, the Giant Barrels Power Yo. 881 pounds of oscillating barrel have to be carried 30 meters in a time of 75 seconds. They're going two at a time. 75 seconds is a normal time for most of these events. And we're starting with Hogan on one side and Felix on the other. Hulk Hogan, as he's known from Norway, following in the steps of Sven Carlson, Viking Power. Mark Felix in the other lane. From Grenada. They're off to a quick start, Sam. They're moving really well. Now, the only thing is we're on grass here, and it's a little moist. We did have some rain. And it's amazing they can still control these implements. Look and, at uh, Felix go. Felix is just strong all over. Wow, 19.66. That's the time to beat for now. Wow. That's uh, a great time. Great initial time. Now, Felix is 20 years older than Hogan. He struck the tenth support. Did you see that? <laughs> 33.40 seconds gave it everything he had. Well, here's here's a case of the mature lion beating the young lion. Let's check the replay. Watch Mark Felix here, 42 years young, only been training for five years in strongman. That's what he told me, making good use of his incredible back strength. I just want to reach to the finish line as fast as possible. Small step, but very fast. And we're ready for our next two competitors. We have Kokloyev on one side. And Peterson on the other. That's right, Peterson again, tying for the youngest competitor here with Hogan. Kokloyev having a little bit of trouble. This event he may not be familiar with. The barrels tend to oscillate. Wow, Peterson's doing great. As I mentioned, Peterson unofficially adopted by this uh, Notre Dame du Roselle crowd. Oh, they love him, and look at that time, 24.59. Here comes Misha. And Misha's finished too. And let's check his time, 29.97. Oh, he's a motivated man, this guy. Devin Soli is very happy with that performance. The crowd loves him. Jan Paul is looking down and I'm smiling. <laughs> uh, that's a great performance by these guys. It's good for me. It is very hard surface, it's on grass, so I think it's good for me. Uh, I'm very happy. Merci! Merci, Steven Solvi. Okay, let's see what we have in store for us here. We've got Vent on one side, and he'll be competing against Ortmeier. Sebastian Vent, a very tall man, powerful. Oh, we had trouble there, did Travis. Uh, Venta had a great start. Let's Venta, see if he can carry it through. Venta has experience in many different sports. He comes from a family of powerful athletes. Uh, he's, run, he's running with that thing, 17.84. New time to beat, look at that. Oh! Here, here comes Ortmeier. He's done, let's check the time. 27.35, Sam. Very respectable time for Ortmeier. Oh, Venta gave it everything there and had a tremendous time. It was like a walk in the park for him. I am very happy. Uh, no speak English. Playing Popolsku. Kohan Vazbanto, I love you! He says he's very happy and he loves us. And here we have Derek Poundstone. Derek Poundstone. Very experienced strongman competitor, recently has competed quite a bit. Had a few injuries. He's up against Merriametz. Merriametz has been a real surprise. His experience in strongman started with shoveling manure, if you can believe that. 
Well, there's the thing. Look at that time for the two of them. Let's check it out. 18.93 seconds. Wow. And 17.41. Unbelievable. Let's hear what he has to say. Yeah, you know, the yoke lately, it's one of those things where I used to suck at it, and then I just kind of figured it out, I guess. <laughs> I guess he did figure it out, and we go to Savickas. Oh, wait a minute, he shook his head. Well, not ready, but he's fighting to Louis Philippe Jean. Louis Philippe staggered a little bit there, but he kept moving. Well, Savickas Here comes seemed unsure. He just took off like a bat out of hell, look at that. Oh, he is moving. He's trying to make up for that little, uh, little, st oh, he oh. struck the tent support. Did you hear that? Jeez, he was running. Look at that side. Now he tied Poundstone. 17.41 and 22.85 on this side. He tied Poundstone's time to the hundredth of a second there. Oh, unbelievable. Dead heat, Sam. Louis Philippe is not happy with his performance. Let's take a look and see what happened here. Dual screen shows us that Junas was not quite ready. Maybe he misheard the referee. He missed out there on the start by a fraction of a second. He probably would have won. Well, you know, like. Like the timer said, you know, less than half a second, you know, we were talking fractions, hundreds of a second. So that's all it takes, and I know that very well. I've, I've lost events by, you know, hundreds of a second. So it wasn't gonna happen today. I really wasn't kicking in, you know? And there's a tie for first place. Savickas and Poundstone. They're followed by Venta, Merumets, Felix, Jaw, Peterson, and Ortmeier. Ici Louis Philippe Jean, vous regardez Fortissimus 2008 sur RDS. And we'll have more world-class strongmen after this. It's just starting. It's uh, only two events to go and uh, eight more events. We will each event more tired and tired. It's, it will be very hard. But not for him, because he's in the lead with 25 and a half points. He's followed by Poundstone, Felix, Merumets, Kopliev, Venta, Ortmeier, and Jean. Katona and Peterson tie with Hogan, Savoy and Filiu, the remaining Canadians bringing up the rear. There's still eight events to go. My name is Derek Poundstone. See you next time on Fortissimus. And what a great show! Fortissimus was a presentation of the municipality of Notre Dame de Rosaire. Sam, what a great show we just witnessed! Fortissimus in Latin means the strongest of all. That's why we're here to crown the mightiest man on earth. I'm Steve Besner for Super Sam Dubé. We'll see you next time for more of Fortissimus 2008.